For the very first time, we have got a commercial grade diffusion based large language model. If you did not understand anything I said, do not worry. I'm going to clarify it in the next couple of seconds. So large language models or the chat GPTs of world that we use currently are called auto regressive models. These models are trained in such a way that they will know what is the current word that you give and then they know to predict the next word. So it takes the current token and then predicts the next token. These are called auto regressive models so that every time you feed in the two words, then it predicts the third word. You feed in four words, it predicts the fifth word. So this is basically working at a token level and this is exactly how these models work. So there is always a bottleneck these with these models. As you increase the number of tokens you feed into the model, the next word prediction takes more time. And this is why people have been always looking for alternative architectures, whether it is to find alternative architectures to transformers itself or to find alternative ways how they can speed up things. And that is where things like speculative decoding came into picture. Now, what whatever I said at the start of the video, diffusion based large language model mean is that rather than predicting the next token using auto regressive LLMs, this team has built a new kind of an LLM which is based on diffusion. A stable diffusion algorithm uses a diffusion based system to predict the entire picture, not by predicting pixel by pixel, rather taking an entire noise, like one picture of noise, and then denoising it in such a way that it is closely aligned to the prompt that has been given. The same way diffusion based large language model takes the entire the prompt that you gave, it tries to denoise that and then figures out what is the final output answer should be. I mean, this is even surprising that it works and the model that the company is claiming that it is a really high quality model. The biggest advantage that you could think of is it is super fast when you compare it with auto regressive large language model, which should not be surprising given the bottleneck that the large language models based on auto regressive LLMs bring in. So this model is called Mercury. This is the first commercial scale diffusion large language model from a company called Inception Labs. And now if you can see the speed up here, so the speed here is that if you say write a function for LLM inference, the speed in which the diffusion LLM does is much, much faster than any auto regressive LLM could do. And it's not just like a random comparison. They've taken this artificial analysis coding index and they're saying that the model that they have got Mercury coder small and Mercury coder mini can produce tokens in fact almost around 1000 tokens per second while all the other existing models, even the smaller models like Gemini 2.0 flashlight doesn't come anywhere closer to that. And that is primarily because the fundamental change in the architecture in itself. And this is probably the first model, not using Grok, not with any kind of optimization, just like literally the model running on something like an H100 and the model is doing extremely good in terms of speed. Now, if you were to compare the model across all the other benchmarks where this flagship models uh, are uh, usually good, Mercury Coder Mini, Mercury Coder Small, when you compare it with the, the other models like Gemini 2.0 Flash, Plot 3.5 Haiku, in terms of tokens, uh, throughput, the number of tokens per second, this is like absolutely crushing 1100 for the Coder Mini and uh, 700 for uh, Mercury Coder Small. Now, if you look at other evaluations like Human Eval, which is for coding, MBBP, which is like a Python uh, programming evaluation, and then Live Code Bench, which is another coding evaluation. It is almost on par with a flash light. And you can see that it is somewhere around like a Quinn 2.5 code to 7 billion parameter model. So this model is not like amazingly great. Like it's like um, something that is state of the art out of box. But what makes this model special is the fact that this is a new architecture fact that it works and also the fact that it is extremely fast and still it tries to be on par with the leading LLMs in the similar size. So these are not flagship models. These are like the lighter version, smaller version of these models and it works. And you can see the comparison of tokens per second. It is 1100 and 700 and every other token, um, the throughput of the model is like this and they've also deployed the model it's not like a theory it's not a paper you can just directly go ahead and then use it i can go ahead and then simply say something like create a pong game and then once you send this thing you can see that the model is trying to predict unlike auto regressive model it is not trying to predict every single token rather it is going to generate everything it's 
denoising it and then it is making it work and then you can see that it is designed whatever it is i know that you can say that this is going to be cherry picked examples even though it is cherry picked examples you can very well see that this is something that actually works if you want to see the diffusion effect you can see how the denoising happens so i can go here and then say that okay create a simple html css javascript single page um, file where i can show summer winter rainy snowy weather card for bangalore i mean ideally it doesn't snow in bangalore so you can see here the moment you see this as you can see here it is trying to predict everything it is denoising it you can see the letters coming across you like a matrix style with the different letters coming together with the final correct letter i mean it's so cool to see it and you can see that it is kind of did a decent job nothing closer to what we have seen with clot 3.7 sonnet or any flagship model but still it is producing coherent text i mean imagine the start of the stable diffusion that was a totally different era and the kind of quality that we have today is totally different so having a new architecture it's Itself, you know makes me quite excited that this works and if you are wondering you know the model is not open source the the lab is keeping it secret once again the chinese is here to save you research lab from china released large language diffusion models and in fact they proved that this actually works and i might probably cover this paper separately but they have also released the model in mit license which is an 8 billion instruct model and you can go ahead and then chat with the model and then see how the denoising works so i'm going to go here and then ask a simple question uh, write a joke on elon musk simply send it and you can see here to the right hand side of yourself that once this is gone it will start denoising it so let's see how it is going to denoise first it is going to have mask in place for every single token that it has to predict and you can see that it is denoising it and then figuring it out what is the final answer that it should give why did elon musk go to therapy because he was feeling electric charged i mean it is so amazing to see an alternative architecture that works so beautifully and visually it is quite amazing to do it let's ask one more question so i'm going to refresh this and then go ahead and then say write a simple appreciation message for this talented youtuber it's a narcissistic message one little coder who is spending all night making ai videos educating humans so that ai will wipe us off without pain <laughs> i don't know just something funny i've just uh, sent this you can see that it is denoising it you can see visually how it is denoising it so cute hey one little coder thank you for all nighter okay so this is all nighter to create insightful ai videos uh, your dedication to educating humans about ai is truly inspiring it's uh, i think it's individual token it's great to see someone like you taking time to share knowledge and help us understand the potential of ai keep up the great work okay so these are the two models that are completely new architecture one is closed um, absolutely um, you know it's a research lab they don't want to open source it quite understandable and uh, i don't know if they've got any plans to do it you can see it's it's extremely fast when you compare it with cloud chat gpt and mercury is like ridiculously fast but again it's not a very fair comparison because um, you know it's it's a different architecture we have to see if big research labs would jump onto this particular train but hugely appreciating whatever the demo that the chinese lab has given and also you know we have got the paper about how they went about building a diffusion based model and i'm a big fan of diffusion based models because we can see the kind of development and the scale uh, the kind of compute how much ever we can cramp um, all these things we have seen with the stable diffusion family of models so if we can see the same thing for large language models it is going to be a pretty amazing future let me know what you feel about this new architecture if you have seen this video until now smash the like button subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy prompting